Angiogenesis. What is this strange word? Is it a building, a sci-fi movie, a plane, or a bird? No. It's both what can save you and fuel your nightmares without apology. Which makes a lot of sense. Because after all, it's biology. Angiogenesis is a process where new blood vessels are formed from old. This rapid growth of vessels is great in de during development, but highly detrimental when it goes uncontrolled. Capillaries are the gift that keep on giving, allowing blood flow in every cell to your figure. Angiogenesis is responsible for the formation of these tiny tubes. Nutrients and metabolites are what they deliver. There are different types of angiogenesis, of course, just like there are different types of birds in a tree. They're spreading and indecisive, both crucial to make up you and me. Sprouting angiogenesis occurs when an endothelial cell guides the developing capillary sprout toward a stimulus. Tip cells secrete proteolytic enzymes, which clear a pathway for the growing sprout. With this sort of teamwork, the possibilities are limitless. Tip cells are rich with receptors, so like bloodhounds, they sniff out their prey. Filaments pull the tip cell towards the stimulus, while endothelial stalk cells multiply to elongate the capillary in this way. The second kind is intussusceptive, or splitting, for those who can't pronounce. It is faster and more efficient than sprouting. This type is like a cheetah, and the other is the gazelle, on which it will pounce. In splitting angiogenesis, a pre-existing vessel wall extends so that one vessel becomes two. This process is crucial for the development of embryos, where growth is dramatically rapid and resources are few. Although angiogenesis makes babies, it can also be tragic. It is necessary for tumors to transition from benign to malignant, like some sort of black magic. So who is the mastermind behind the discovery of this biological process? It was Dr. Judah Folkman in 1961 in a U.S. Navy lab. The excitement of discovery, not the seasickness, made him nauseous. He realized that all implanted tumors and isolated organs had stopped growing at the same size. The realization that the restricting factor was the lack of blood vessels came as quite a surprise. Although it would take another 30 years before the exact mechanism could be determined, Folkman was able to form the theory of angiogenesis so a few things could be known for certain. He stated that tumors could not grow larger than the head of a pin without a blood supply, and the tumor secreted a mystery factor that stimulated the growth of new blood vessel, so of nutrition, it could not be denied. A 1971 paper in the New England Journal of Medicine presented the idea in a much larger form. They suggested that the blood vessels had to be recruited by the tumor, and the diffusible tumor angiogenesis factor, or TAF, was the cause of the storm. Dr. Folkman believed cancers could be cured if only he could find a way to stop blood vessel growth in its tracks. 20 years of painstaking protein isolation later, endostatin and angiostatin were found, and the clinical trials were started in order to get the facts. One of the first applications of angiogenesis research in humans was in a German trial. They encouraged blood vessel growth to treat coronary artery disease by using fibroblast growth factor 1 from a vial. There are also drugs that inhibit growth of vessels, often used in conjunction with chemotherapy. They treat kidney, colon, and lung cancer, among other diseases that would otherwise end terribly. Some work by blocking the receptors involved in spreading angiogenesis. Do you remember the type? This is done thanks to man-made monoclonal antibodies. I'm sure you can understand the hype. But it's not just pills and IV fluids that make up therapeutic angiogenic treatments. There are also cells, genes, and mechanical devices that are used to boost blood vessel growth and heal wounds in sequence. There are gels containing proangiogenic proteins that can be applied topically to the flesh. These are produced in the body naturally, but can also be amplified so the top layer of skin they'll refresh. Angiogenesis. What is this strange word? Is it a building, a sci-fi movie, a plant, or a bird? No. It's both what can save you and fuel your nightmares without apology. Which, which makes, makes a lot of sense, because after all, it's biology. biology.